If you're thinking about getting a bait caster, but you're intimidated by the bird's nest, or if you're a new guy who's struggling with the backlash, this video's for you. What's up, slime lovers? Welcome to El Gato Azul TV. My name's Chris. Today I'm gonna to demonstrate to you guys how to cast a conventional reel known as a bait caster, also a known as a level wind. A lot of guys been using them for you know 30 years i started using uh i got my first one in 1986 um it was a phantom 100 shimano and you know i've been using these ever since the the uh, main benefits for having a bait caster is number one if you're a shore angler you can get your baits much farther uh with the bait caster you can hit for spots that are much further out there um, it's got a higher line capacity than, than uh, you know, a spinning reel in a comparable size. So you can get a lot, you can pack a lot more line on uh, a smaller uh, bodied reel. Uh, this specific reel is a Shimano Takoda 600A. Uh, it's not cheap, but you know you don't have to have. A really expensive one starting out that there's plenty of other ones out there that, that get the job done I just you know I go with the Shimano um, the rod today we're gonna be using is a mad cats medium seven foot six goblin uh, great rod great reel uh, but you know I'm a boat angler so I want to be casting a dragging weight today this is a Carolina Lake weight two ounce but it's it's very simple all you got to do uh, when you take this thing out of the box the very first time if you're new to to bait casters uh, you don't have to be intimidated uh, worried about the bird nest uh, all you got to do is crank down this little knob right here that's on the side so what you're going to do is you're going to tighten that thing down um, and what that does is when you open this spool Normally, if you have it loose, uh, when you open the spool, your line will just start coming off. But as you tighten this down, it puts tension on your spool and keeps it from spinning. So that's what's gonna help you not get the bird's nest uh, for, you, for you guys that are just starting out. Uh, so that's what you're gonna wanna do. Straight out of the box, crank this thing down, you're not really worried about trying to get distance when you first start using one of these. What you're really trying to do is just get comfortable with using it. Uh, so as soon as you get it, take it out of the box, spool it up, tighten that knob down. And when you cast, I won't even put my thumb on it. So open the bail. Won't even put my thumb on it. No bird's nest. I left my thumb off the spool. And so basically what that's going to do is it's going to keep it from, from, from getting a bird's nest and backlashing. Uh, so, you know, the more you, the more you do it, the more you get comfortable with it, the more you're going to back that tension off. So you'll back that off. And, um, you know, as you get more comfortable with it, you're just gonna lightly put your thumb on the spool when you cast. You're not gonna press down on it. You just put, you know, just a slight bit of pressure on there when you cast. And then you're, you're slinging them. So, you know, I'm a boat guy. I use planer boards a lot. So I end up having my spool, the tension completely off of it. Uh, you know, I take this take the tension completely off where that thing's just wide open So it'll let my planer boards out but if you're not comfortable uh, And don't have a lot of experience you will get backlashes that way But the more you use it the more comfortable you get with it and before you know it You just keep your thumb lightly on that and uh very simple. You'll get the hang of it really quickly.
So, you know, don't be intimidated by a bait caster. They are a great reel, especially for us cat fishermen. Uh, they're more compact. Uh, they, they hold more line. Uh, you can put heavier line on here, whereas a lot of times when you use a spinning rod and you put that heavy line on there, it will unspool itself, uh, you know, and these just don't do that. So get you one, get out there and practice. Before you know it, you'll be slinging baits, hitting spots you've never been able to hit before, and uh, you're going to love them. So thanks for checking us out, guys. If you got any questions at all, leave them in the comment section. I'd be happy to, uh, to get back and answer them for you. Um, you know, according to a recent study, the smartest, friendliest, nicest people on YouTube hit that, uh, hit that subscribe button below. So make sure you hit that button. Uh, and you know, it'll send you notifications for, uh, future how to stuff that we do. We also do, uh, fishing videos, trip videos. We live stream from our boat every week. Uh, I'm fishing with my son, Action Jackson. He's seven. He just, he's, he's catching tons of big fish. It's really fun watching him. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys checking us out. So tight lines, God bless. Azul out. Fish on. Yeehaw, baby.